Well, the, the textbook definition of CrossFit would be constantly varied functional movements executed at high intensity. Constantly varied meaning always changing, functional movements meaning stuff that you do in everyday life and then uh, executed at high intensity, obviously hard and fast, that's where you're going to get your results. Uh, the components of CrossFit are actually Olympic style weightlifting, gymnastics, and then the cardiovascular endurance. So what makes CrossFit so unique and special and different from the traditional programs is obviously not just the, the fitness routine itself. Um, it's, it's definitely different, but what makes it special, what makes it unique and successful is the community aspect of it. You know, you'll, you'll meet people uh, either in CrossFit or you'll come to CrossFit with a friend and it kind of takes you back to the old school competition days where you're, you're competing against each other or inside the gym or your buddy. Um, during the workouts, at the end, you're cheering each other on, high-fiving, and it, 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 it kind of, again, takes you back to the, the old school days uh, of, of competition. And us, a lot of us, as we get older, we, we, we miss those days. We don't have those days anymore. And, and so, again, brings us back to kind of the, those, those competitive days. So the thing with CrossFit, uh, I hear it a lot of times, uh, is it for me, is do I need to get in shape for CrossFit uh, before I come into? And the answer to that is, is that it is for everyone. Um, the unique thing about it is, is you can take a, an elite athlete, whether they're pro, semi-pro, MMA fighter, whatever it is, uh, they're going to come in, they're going to do the exact same workout as everybody else. Um, even a, a deconditioned grandmother who's maybe first time in the gym ever or uh, you know, been here four weeks. Everybody's going to do the same workout. We'll scale the load, we'll scale the intensity, scale the movements. Um, you can take someone who's, you know, in a wheelchair and they're still going to be able to do CrossFit. Someone with a pacemaker, you know, we'll, you'll still be able to do CrossFit just at each's, each's level. You know, we have benchmark wads uh, and then we have hero wads. Our benchmark wads uh, are typically, you know, it is that it's a benchmark, you'll do it, and three, four, five, six months down the road, you'll do it again to see where you improve. The benchmark wads are typically uh, short to mid uh, in length, but typically very, very brutal. Kind of the, the philosophy behind that is the founder uh, and CEO of, of CrossFit, Greg Glassman, said any workout that would leave you laying flat on your back and speechless, unable to breathe, you'd be named after a female. Uh, so that's where those, those names come in, like Fran. Uh, and then the hero wads are our wads where uh, were named after a police, fire, military personnel um, that they were unfortunately killed in the line of duty. Um, they were CrossFitters and uh, and obviously paid the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. So Grace, again, clean and jerks, all right? From the floor, overhead as quick as you can, all right? Meaning, what I mean by that is power clean it up and on your receive you can go overhead with it right so you don't have to stop pause like you guys just did obviously because it's going to be a little bit lighter weight all right but what has to happen is you have to stand it all the way up show control full extension barbell over the hills before you start that descent obviously there's many unique things about crossfit uh one being you know one day you may be uh, the best in the house. You may have the, the high score, the biggest lift. Um, the next day, you may be at the bottom. So it's going to explore your strengths and your weaknesses. You know, the the thing with CrossFit is is regardless of how how tough it is. You know, you're going to puke, you're going to bleed, you may cry, you stumble, you'll fall, uh, but we'll never quit. You know, you'll you'll finish the workout uh, at all costs. And of course, you know, I hear pretty often. You know, whether the, the workout looks easy or the workout looks brutal, you know, and if, if you're not scared of the workout, in my opinion, obviously it's, it's not hard enough. So CrossFit, people say, you know, what can I expect to, to get from CrossFit? Uh, to be honest with you, if you're looking at losing weight, probably if that's your, own, your only um, goal is to lose weight, probably not the program for you. You're you're gonna you're gonna be physically fit. You're gonna be healthy. You're gonna lose body fat. You're gonna gain muscle mass, which obviously weighs more than fat. So there, uh, in my 
is kind of your issue if, if it's the scale that you're looking at. Uh, but what we do is we do a foundations course. It's four weeks long. We get you through how to do CrossFit safely and efficiently in that four week program. After that, I say give me six weeks. Give me 110% for six weeks. Uh, and I promise you, you'll notice the way that your clothes are gonna start fitting different. You have to start buying smaller clothes. Uh, and you're going to physically feel better, mentally, physically, um, day in and day out.